What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Cool to see y'all, people. And, uh, first of all, like, before I start off on anything, I want to start off, there's a segment of people who I really have to thank, and that's the women of Brazil, of Regado, first and foremost. Shout out to Brazil, shout out to Russia, shout out to Ukraine, Kiev, Odessa, St. Petersburg, shout out to Moscow, shout out to Minsk, shout out to Belarus, shout out to France. I'm shouting out these countries because this is where I get my love. And like I said, Brazil, shout out, shout out, like I said, Rio, Recife, uh, Salvador, Sao Paulo, uh, Brasilia. Belo Horizonte, uh, let me see, let me see, I still receive Rio, Salvador, uh, Brasilia, the whole country, shout out to you, because Brazil has got my back, and I salute you for that, but now, let's dig into the topic at hand, and I, remember I told you people about, and this is recent too, remember I told you about these religious pastors, they're going to have to render on the Caesar. Well, uh, TJ, TJ, no, TD Jakes. I don't like you said TJ. But uh, TD Jakes did an interview with Huffington Post with the one uh, guy who was on MSNBC, uh, the young black guy who was at Harvard, this and that. I don't know his name, excuse me, but I'll, I'll, I'll throw the link down there. And I told you guys what's going to happen. He's going to render on the Caesar, right? Well, if you look at this interview, he basically is rendering under Caesar. Let me, let me paraphrase in my in my mind what he said. He basically said the church has to change, change, is changing, evolving, and the Bible is evolving come on this on this in, on the gay marriage issue. Now, for those of you that don't speak what he's speaking, dude's a hustler. What he's saying is. That's not going to stop my money from flowing in. Because you see, he's a 501c3 organization. And what that does is, he means he's cool with gay people. It means he got no problem. It means he can take money. And then, then like, there was this one point, this one person asked me to talk about this so far as on a Facebook thing. It was on a, on a, it was on a Facebook uh, post. And I explained to people, he's taking gay folks' money. What do you think he's going to say? You know, he rendered under Caesar, rendered under Caesar. He's, he's falling back under the pressure. And then this one person goes, he just lost his soul. No, he, he, of course, he, he lost his soul a long time ago, yeah. But what happened is, you can ask any rich person that doesn't have a mental with, you know there's some of them rich people that killed themselves and shit. You can ask any rich person that doesn't have a mental mental disorder. When they, when they make money, and they make a lot of money, that's not enough. Warren Buffett's not in the business of being stagnant. Bill Gates, yeah, Bill Gates donates a lot of money, but he uh, he donates a lot of money because he has to donate money. Bill Gates is to the point where he has to throw money fucking away. That way he keeps a, he keeps a plus a, a plus on his taxes. When you get to that point where you're making money, and I don't look at look, 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 athletes. Athletes are doing it for free and then and what they do is a lot of them like towards the end of the career they may take a pay cut but to them a pay cut is still they're making money because they still got their little little endorsements but as far as this, this goes the, the religious things T.D. Jakes has done what I told you he was going to do he is when he's rendering already he's acknowledging under season all right, Caesar, it's yours. So I don't know why pe pe people were looking at it from, because like people were starting to wise up now. And they're like, hold up, man. The Bible's supposed to be ever flowing and never changing. You want to change it. And then, then, when, then what happened was, it was like a couple days later, he was shocked at how people misinterpreted his comment. But see, what he did is he left doors. Oh, he left a lot of doors open. See, this is what this is what this is another 
by Flair Rose. He left a lot of doors open. And that's what you do. Whenever, whenever you answer questions and you're in a public spotlight, you have to leave doors open. You have to, or, or as they say, you have to leave it for interpretation. You know, because you can interpret it, five people can interpret it the right way, but he can come back and say, well, I didn't mean it like that. See, that, 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 that's called leaving the door open. And when he was shocked at how people misinterpreted his words. You ain't no misinterpreted words. You said what you said. The, the Bible's supposed to be everlasting. The Bible's supposed to be something to stand on. And you want the, and the church and all this guy is changing? The church shouldn't have to change. Why is the church bending for a group of homosexuals? The church shouldn't bend whenever you were a slave and trying to get your vote. But all of a sudden now, you want to bend over for Bob and Bob and Todd. I'm just asking, man. I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm not saying nothing mean. I'm just saying, whenever, whenever slavery was going down, which by the way was the same religious nuts that you took their religion, whenever, no, I'll, 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 I'll even keep it closer than that because we don't want to use slavery. Whenever it was time to get your vote, church was like, we want us to do about it. They were marching. And now all of a sudden, T.D. Jakes shows his true colors, and he's like, well, well, I didn't mean it like that. Well, come on, man, you left that door open. You know what you said. And so what you're going to do is you're going to say something to make it look like people are crazy, which they're not. People stand by your convictions, because that joker is. So... I told him, I, I, I called him. He just, he, he stepped in it. I just, I, I just called it. So I'm out of here. So you should not dismiss anything I have to say because he did it. Whenever it, he started stabbing, he starts, if you, if you look at the interview, he started going, you know, he turned his head down on this. You couldn't even stare at the man or look at the man straight and like, what were you on? Drugs? What were you on? Weed? What were you on? BCP? Dollars? Any other time you're dancing around like, you know, but when they came to this interview, he was like this. What the fuck's wrong with this dude? And I know I'm not the only one who noticed this. It, it was, it's his body language that gave away for me. Because he, he, he knew he was going to take one for the team. So what he do? He did. He did. He pulled. The, he did what the politicians do, and he did, he did what every every celebrity that gets in trouble does. He leaves doors open so he can go back and close them later. That's all he has done. So, so I told you guys the black church is gonna lead y'all to hell, and the black church is running under Caesar. Look, they are. And I'm gonna make another video because I have to discuss something about that because people were. We're saying we're getting something interpreting the things I was saying wrong. So let me let me let me cut this video short. I call it again, but let me make another video and tell talk go in detail what I was talking about. Alright, peace.